Good morning, we are at the last day of NAB24 and we are at the Crest Valley booth. This is the Skyhoy pod. We have a little corner of this booth as a partner of Crest Valley and I want to show you the Maverick X amp integration. So I have a strip from our mega panel that is two MK48s, that is a um, G block, transition block, and then a waveboard mini for audio control. This is the flow monitor, basically your multi-view. And today I can show you with sources that we can select sources on preset or preview. We can select sources on program if you want. We can do cut, we can do auto, so transitions. The T-Bar is not working in this setup, but it will work pretty soon after the show because we have figured out what the command for that one is. In the upper row, we can assign sources for keyers. And actually, we also have that running. So if I add this key, this graphic, if I change the source of that one, you'll see it's basically blanking out because these sources are not transparent. But hey, the key works and that is um, sure uh, from this demonstration. It also works in multiple banks. And I can show you that if I go to the dashboard up here where we see a, a 3ME setup. So if you notice the lower row, anytime I make a change, I'm essentially, you see right there, you can see I'm, I'm basically switching the program bus on the first bank. But here on the panel, I can now change to bank number two. So now we've just moved up one ME and then all my selections here will relate to ME2, cut, etc. So this is up at display here. The T-Block is the one driving everything. This is how the configuration looks. And I think it looks really awesome when you see the simulator of Reactor. So you see this full um, strip for the mega panel in Reactor. We can also do remote software manipulation of the panel. So physical panel, software panel, both are good to operate the Maverick X. There is also the audio part of it. So the audio mixer is up here and we can display how these audio sources can be managed by the waveboard mini. We have multiple banks of flying faders and on the first bank we have a fader that is related to the master. We have one for, for an output which is out of the screen and then we have the two input sources over here and if I move on to the next bank then my faders will adjust additional input sources on the panel. This is all mappable inside of the UI of the mini waveboard mini. So if I go to this one and if I go to the home tab and I open the channel configuration, you can see I can assign colors. I can also change the order of the faders and how they work across all the bands. And that's essentially the display of the GB amp integration we have here at NAB24. We are so excited about it. We are so excited about adding more applications in the future. And if you are a customer that uses GB amp, I suggest that you, you explore this and please bring your suggestions for whatever else you want us to do in the AMP universe. There's so much more to do. And we are so excited about this partnership and working with you to make it even more flexible.